Manchester United continue to be linked with a move for Michael Elise this summer. The question is, why? Now, when it comes to this, there are two whys, in my opinion. One would be, why Elise? But the other would actually be, why a right winger? Do Manchester United actually need a right winger this summer? Well, in my opinion, yes. And the whole reason behind it is balance. Starting off with horizontal balance across the pitch. Now, what I'm talking about with horizontal balance is the balance between the front three. So the left winger, the striker and the right winger. Now, let's assume next season that our striker will be Rasmus Hoyland and our left winger will be one of Marcus Rashford or Garnacho. We are left with an attack lacking balance. Rashford, Garnacho, Hoyland are all players who want to shoot at goal. They are goal scorers as opposed to creators. They are all players who want to get into the final third, take shots at goal. They are also players which like to run in behind. Hoyland likes to be a runner, Garnacho likes to hold the width at times and go in behind, and Marcus Rashford loves that out to in run once again in behind the opposition defence. So we can see there is a lack of balance. These are shoot first players, but also runners. So our front three lacks that ability to come towards the ball, be a creator. So that is what Manchester United need in terms of balance horizontally across the pitch. But they also need balance vertically as well. Now when we look at vertical balance, we are talking about something a little bit different. We are splitting the pitch up in a different way. Essentially to the left hand side and the right hand side of the football pitch. And again you can see there is a lack of balance across this team. If we're looking at the left hand side, we've got Rashford, Garnacho, Bruno Fernandes. Those sorts of options. We have ball striking. You know, players which want to shoot from range. Again, we have this idea of attack-minded players. Players which quickly want to attack the final third. We've got lots of creativity here. We've got uh, long-range passing capabilities as well. When we move to the right-hand side of the pitch, we don't have that same dynamic. This is more about retention. There's a lack of pure creativity. Kobe Mane is a great player, but not creative. Dallo is a good player and has improved this season but he's still not particularly creative in the final third. There's also a lack of 1v1 threat down this side of the pitch. On the left-hand side, we've got the likes of Marcus Rashford. On the right, we don't really have the same. And again, on the right-hand side, we don't really have that much creativity. On the left, Bruno Fernandes can create. Luke Shaw can get forward and create and is elite at doing so. And Rashford and Garnacho have their moments. Down the right-hand side, again, there is that lack of creativity. So there's a real lack of balance to this Manchester United side in terms of horizontally in the front three, but also vertically down the right side of the pitch. And this is why, in my opinion, we do need a new right winger to come into the club. The question is, what does that right winger need to be to give us that balance? Well, they need to make sure we are balanced across both planes of the pitch. So in order to provide balance with the front three, they need to be creative. Again, the other two want to get forward, quickly attack and be shoot first players, almost selfish players a little bit in the final third. Our right winger needs to be selfless, someone who wants to create chances for other people. And they also need to be someone who comes towards the ball a lot, wants the ball into feet. Again, the other two like to run off the ball. We need someone who can come towards the ball, get the ball into feet and be creative. That's what we need in terms of balance with the front three. In terms of balance down the right hand side, we need something a little bit different. We're looking more at 1v1 threat. Dallo, Kobi Mainu, they aren't players which excel at standing someone up in a one versus one situation and beating them. They're decent at it, but they don't excel in that area. So we need a right winger which, which does excel. We also, in my opinion, need a right winger which wants a lot of the ball. Again, Kobi Mainu and Dallo are retention based players. It would help if our right winger is something very, very similar. Comfortable getting a lot of the ball. But what we also need at the end of the day is end product in the final third. Again, some creativity would be very, very useful, but actually also goal scoring output as well. Because down this right hand side of the pitch, we don't have that much of a goal threat. Dallo is not a massive goal threat. Kobe Mainu, you know, not massively, not to the same extent as Bruno Fernandes. So we need this player to be someone who can cut inside onto their left foot or perhaps their right foot, whatever and strike at goal from range and genuinely be a goal threat. We need a lot of different things here. And that is why, in my opinion, we need a new, we need a new right winger. If you also consider the fact that we will probably lose one of Anthony or Sancho this summer, and almost definitely for Kundu Palistri, we need a right winger. The next question is, why Elise? So before we continue into the video, a quick shout out to today's video sponsor, jerseyfifa.com, the home of all of the greatest football kits. Whether that be the new latest releases or the old classic ones like this, Jersey FIFA has something for everyone. And now you can check it out yourself using the link in the description down below. And also make sure to use code JERSEYFIFA for 10% off when you order. So we pointed out before the advert exactly what Manchester United need in terms of this right wing position to provide balance vertically and also horizontally across the pitch. And the question we came up to was, why actually Elise? Does he tick a lot of the boxes that we need? 
Well, to be honest, in my opinion, he does. I think he's a very, very good player who does tick a lot of the boxes of what United need, but not necessarily everything. It's not actually a perfect fit, but I will come on to that shortly. To start off with, let's look at some of the positives. And let's go over, basically, to his performance against United the other day, because it was the perfect example of exactly what United need. First of all, the willingness to get in between players, pick up the ball in dangerous areas, and be a maverick. That's what the right-hand side needs. Someone who can do everything. Someone who wants the ball. Someone who demands the ball and goes, I'm him. That's what United need down the right-hand side. At least they provide that. We saw that for the first goal the other night against United. Granted against a very poor Manchester United, but at least they were still absolutely brilliant in this game. Able to sell players absolute dreams. Again, Eriksen's flying off to nowhere here. I don't know where Casemiro's going. Elise beats them both absolutely brilliantly. Moves into this position towards it. the penalty area, drives away from them, and then has that shot from distance into the back of the net. United need that. That's that ball striking ability. That is something which our right-hand side currently lacks. But of course, as we said, there are other boxes which need to be ticked as well. One of them is something like this. Just a quick link play, the ability to knit the attack together. The front three doesn't really have that. Rashford and Hoyland don't excel in this department, whereas Elise does. It was little things like this the other night which really impressed me. Little quick passes, first time little flicks and tricks outside of the right boot on this occasion to quickly move the ball on. Elise isn't actually the quickest player in the world, but in terms of mentally, he really looked a step ahead of all of the Manchester United players. He was able to move the ball, basically... Before United even got particularly close to him, he was quickly turning the ball around the corner and moving the attack on. That's exactly what United need. And then again, what else do we need? That ability to make the right decisions in the final third. How many times have we seen United players this season shape up from this sort of position and shoot at goal? Well, at least they actually does the exact same thing here. He shapes up as though he is about to shoot, tricking the Manchester United defenders, but then at the last moment, actually makes a really good decision to play the overlapping runner down the right-hand side who puts the ball back into the box. Now, this might look like quite an obvious thing to do, quite an easy decision, but again, I'm not sure United's attackers currently always do this. So Elise is going to come in, he's going to make the right decisions. Again, I could see why United would want this. I could see why Ten Hag would want this in his attack. And then the other thing for me is retention. Now, this is more to do with the balance of the front three in particular. Someone who has the opportunity to go forward, to quickly attack the opposition, but recognising that it's not always the right thing to do, sometimes slowing it down, coming back towards goal. This is something which Anthony is actually pretty good at doing. Slowing it down, waiting for someone else to make a bit of room for him, before then slowing down and playing it to someone else. This is why I like Elise. I feel like he, he brings the best of all of our different right-wing threats. Garnacho is our direct one who can be a goal-scoring threat. Elise is that. Anthony is our one who can be a retention-based player. Elise is that. And Sancho is the one who can be creative. Elise is also that. Elise ties in the strengths of all of those players really nicely. And it makes him a really good option for the right-hand side, especially when he can pop up and do this. Put a ball into the back of the net from distance and provide that goal-scoring threat. This is why, in my opinion, he could be a really good signing for Manchester United this summer. In terms of the balance, he addresses everything that we need. He brings the one versus one threat for the right-hand side. He brings the creative threat for the uh, right-hand side, which others just simply don't. And also the output in the final third, the goals. Scored a lot this season, had a very good year despite injury. The right-hand side lacks that. And then in terms of the balance of the front three, he brings ball retention. Someone who wants lots of touches coming towards the ball and, of course, creativity as well. He ticks pretty much every single box that you would want in terms of balance. He looks like he could be the right player for Manchester United this summer. But, and there is always a but, there is one issue. For me, Elise is not a touchline winger. He is not someone you have stuck on the touchline all game long, getting chalk on his boots, being an isolation winger. I think he can do it. I think he's very capable one versus one. He's a great dribbler. I love it watching him dribble with the ball at his feet. But I think he is at his best when he is given the license to move inside. We saw that in some of those clips there. His best moments are coming when he's in these areas. And someone's actually going around on the overlap. So perhaps a dynamic like this would actually work even better for Elise. Who knows? I think that is a tactical change which United would need to make. In this situation, is Dallo good enough in the final third? Or do you need a new right back to come into the club? Someone more like Jeremy Frimpong perhaps, who's a bit more attacking down the right hand side. Better delivery. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Is this a tactical tweak that would need to take place? Possibly. Or do you think it would work better with him out wide? Do let me know what you think. And also, let me know what you think of Elise in general. 
Do you think United should sign him this summer? How good do you think he is? Does he come straight into the starting eleven? Stylistically, does he actually fit? Is he the profile we need? Or actually, at the end of the day, is he just too expensive? And do we have too many other priorities in the transfer market this year? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm genuinely intrigued to hear your thoughts. But apart from that, we are finished for today. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.